Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to join me oh, down yes. here at the microphone. We're going to. This is a little bit unusual for us. This is a little bit different meeting. Um, but we are excited to present uh, Larimer County's Environmental Stewardship Awards today. Um, this is the 20th year for the awards. The commissioners um, approve and, and uh, give out these awards every year to honor stewardship um, efforts by county residences, uh, residents, businesses, and organizations. And here's a little bit of background about the awards themselves. Um, we began the awards in 1995 and have presented 71 awards to date. This afternoon we'll add three more to that number. Um, once again, we receive inspirational nominations and each of us has come away with a deeper appreciation for the commitment to environmental stewardship here in Larimer County. Um, finally, the county's Environmental and Science Advisory Board reviews the nominations and makes recommendations to us and then we determine the winners and the awards for this year will be handed out by the board. Commissioner Johnson, I believe the first is yours. Yes. Can we have the City of Fort Collins Utilities and Natural Areas Departments please come up first? And I'll tell you a little bit about their accomplishment while they're coming up. And this is something I know a little bit about. Was an, I was involved a little bit in some of the legislation dealing with the black-footed ferrets, but I've had the opportunity to see a black-footed yeah. ferret too, which not many people have. They're kind of cool. I've seen a couple endangered and threatened species, but this is a real success story for the Endangered Species Act. Um, the black-footed ferret was thought to be extinct, and uh, a few of them were detected on a ranch up in Matitsi, Wyoming, I think, originally. Uh, in 1981. So um, what the Fort Collins Utilities and Natural Areas uh, Department has done is they've worked in collaboration with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Department, to plan and implement the reintroduction of captive bred ferrets here in Larimer County. There have been a number, a couple other sites that have been used, and now we're going to be one of them. The ferrets live in prairie dog colonies, which provide their main source of food. The actual reintroduction occurred last September. The long-term impact will be to have a self-sustaining black-footed ferret populations that positively contribute to the ecosystem of Soapstone's natural area and Meadow Springs Ranch. Uh, in addition, these animals will be sig uh, significant for the recovery of the species in the wild. Um, a potential long-term impact may include management of an ecosystem that produces young wild ferrets that can be transported to other sites with suitable habitat for additional reintroductions. As noted in the nomination for this award, environmental stewardship is an ethical approach and mentality to managing today's environmental resources in a manner that will provide future generations with a quality of environment that includes a place for a wild population of one of the rarest mammals on earth. So please join me in thanking the City of Fort Collins Utilities and the Larry's Department. Hi, Danny. Uh, hi, my name is John Stokes. I work for the City of Fort Collins, and I want to thank uh, Larimer County and the Advisory Board for this recognition. We very much appreciate it. Uh, this has uh, been a long time coming, the ferret reintroduction up at Soapstone and Meadow Springs Ranch. It took us a lot of years of effort, quite a bit of coordination with a number of agencies, including Larimer County. Uh, and we have ferrets on the ground uh, today up there. In fact, uh, some of our folks were doing a spotlight survey a week or two ago, and uh, a number of the ferrets that we put out on the ground, uh, we found them. They're, they are still there. They're eating prairie dogs. They're happy. Uh, I see a number of ag folks in the room, and I just want to also say that uh, we've got uh, cattle grazing in this area, as well as the ferrets, and we also uh, have recreation in this area. So it's a nice trifecta. We put it all together up there, and I uh, really appreciate uh, uh, the work of uh, our staff on this, Dale and Figs, who's behind me as our staff leader on this project, and then Kevin Gerdick is here from our utilities department. We've worked very closely hand-in-hand -hand with utilities on this. Uh, so thank you, Larimer County, for this recognition, and uh, thanks to everybody who's here today. All right, the second award today will be given to James Gano. James, are you here? Come on up. Welcome. Um, 
James Gaynell will receive an Environmental Stewardship Award for his strong personal commitment to sustained effort training volunteers for conservation activities related to the Nature Conservancy's Phantom Canyon Preserve. Mr. Gano directs the Phantom Canyon Special Projects Crew, a group that he organized in 2003. A wide range of projects were implemented by the crew in 2014. These included a sustainable dirt road design and maintenance project to capture water and minimize erosion, uh, leading nature hikes on the preserve, repair and improvement of structures on the preserve, and training staff interns. The skills necessary to address these tasks include planning, teaching, motivation, and at times hard physical labor. These activities are a great benefit to the Nature Conservancy in their efforts to manage the Phantom Canyon uh, Preserve. In addition to his work related to Phantom Canyon, Mr. Gano participates in up to six patrols each year on national forest lands in the U.S. Forest Service through the Poudre Wilderness Volunteers. Mr. Gano is a committed leader with the ability to draw others into the work and thereby create a sustainable effort to preserve uh, the environment beyond the present. Congratulations, Mr. Gano. Thank you. Well, first, uh, let me say that uh, this, is, this award is as much to the uh, Phantom Canyon Special Projects crew uh, as it is to me. These folks have uh, worked with me up in the Laramie foothills, uh, mending fences and repairing structures and solving problems for over a decade. And uh, I wouldn't be here today uh, if it weren't for their uh, enthusiastic support and participation and certainly camaraderie. Uh, the area we look in, they work at is uh, in northern Larimer County. Uh, it's surrounded by over 300 square miles of protected land. Um, this land is ranches, uh, farms, and open spaces. Uh, I think about this now, and then this land will be part of my grandchildren's children's a legacy that we're all leaving to them. It's very special to me. Uh, the lands are protected because of activities of uh, the Nature Conservancy, uh, Legacy Land Trust, uh, the uh, City of Fort Collins, and Larimer County. Uh, that's where the activity occurred. But uh, the fundamental reason these lands are protected is because the people who live in the region uh, wanted to protect it, and because the citizens of Larimer County felt it was important uh, for these, these lands to to be there for them to enjoy. Uh, this is also a passionate belief of my own, and I have to say that uh, it's quite a delight to live in a, uh, to live in a community uh, where so many people uh, hold this conviction. Uh, thank you very much. You had, you had me right up until you said hard physical labor. <laughs> So a little over two and a half years ago, Larimer County suffered the worst, most destructive wildfire in county history. And I remember talking with Under Sheriff Nelson at the time, being very grateful that the fire crews were able to successfully keep that fire on the north side of the Poudre River. And the Hewlett Gulch fire was uh, the, the most devastating destructive fire we'd ever experienced. And then about a week later, we had a fire start on the south side of the river and everybody was, uh-oh. And Katie Bar the Doors, the High Park Fire dwarfed the Hewlett Gulch Fire and became the most destructive. And, and through this, we had a group form. And so I'm going to read a little bit about the Coalition for the Poudre River Watershed. Oh, I can't read it with those on now. <laughs> it's far enough away. Uh, the Coalition for the Poudre River Watershed, who were, were formed as, that, as a result of that fire. And for the, we want to give them this award. I think Commissioner Johnson has that. So come on up if you're with the Coalition for the Poudre River Watershed. And we want to thank them for their effective efforts to improve and maintain the ecological health of the Poudre River watershed through, the community, through community collaboration. Begun initially as an informal network following the Hewlett Gulch and High Park fires in the summer of 2012, initial activities focused on the identification of restoration needs, finding funding, training volunteers, and completing the first projects. Based on the success of those early efforts, the group made the transition to a formal nonprofit. The Coalition for the Poudre River, uh, this name, the Coalition for the Poudre River Watershed. The coalition brings together a wide range of stakeholders to plan and implement watershed activities in order to reduce the risk of future catastrophic wildfires 
and to address other important watershed needs. A diverse group of stakeholders, including natural resource professionals, scientists, landowners, and governmental agency representatives have come together in this spirit of cooperation and community benefit. Their efforts continue to provide important resources for fundraising, planning, technical assistance, training, and volunteers. As noted in the nomination for this award, the coalition is a crystallization of the shared community spirit present in Lerma County, and, and I want to say, and that was so evident, uh, I, I heard from people around the state and actually uh, from around the country of how resilient in that community spirit that Larimer County citizens showed in that time in 2012. And so, and just for full disclosure, uh, Larimer County, as a government entity, Larimer County government, we are actually voting members of this coalition. We think so much about it. So join me in congratulating the Florida River Water. <laughs> Thank you for that. First, my name is Jen Kovexis, and I think I'm one of those unusual last names, so K-O-V-E-C-S-E-S. -E -E and I would like to start by thanking Larimer County and the Advisory Board for giving this, this award to the Coalition for the Poudre River Watershed. We really, really appreciate the recognition that this brings. Um, but mostly I want to start by saying this award, is not, this award is not just about CPRW. It really is about all of the individuals and the different organizations that bore witness to the impacts of the Hyde Park fire and realized that by working together, we could achieve so much more needed restoration on the ground. Um, as has already been stated in our application, I mentioned that I really feel that CPRW is the crystallization of that community spirit that we see in Larimer County, and I really believe that to be true. At the time of the Hyde Park fire, individual, rec individual groups and individuals from across the city and the county came together, recognized a need, put aside their other time commitments, and worked together to sort through all the different problems that we might see as a, part, as a result of the Hyde Park fire. And as a part of that process, we developed all the different priorities that needed to be worked on. We found all the money that we could to make things happen, and then we trained volunteers and got people on the ground and started making it happen. And Really, as a result of all of that, I think we did a lot of work that benefited our communities, our roads, our rivers, and generally the, the health of the watershed. Um, the hard work of our collaborators, our volunteers, and staff alike ensured that we were not, able, not just able to plan restoration, but that we were really able to make those plans get to ground and make a difference on the ground. And really, that's what CPRW is all about, making sure we can work together to get more done on the ground. So we're now building on these past successes and our stakeholders are working together to plan and implement watershed activities to keep improving and protecting the health of our watershed. And I'm sure that this award's gonna give those efforts a boost. Finally, I'd like to thank the county, not just for the award, but for all the support that the county has given us through this process, because we have amazing county staff on our board, our recovery manager, Suzanne Bassinger, um, and also they've been a good supporter of um, helping us be able to finance the work that we do. And I look forward to being able to keep working with Little Aramur County on developing our shared goals and helping to keep our watershed amazing and healthy. Thank you. Okay, that concludes the Environmental Stewardship Awards for this year. If, you've, uh, if you're here for the awards, uh, we invite you to stick around and enjoy our fun land use hearing that's about to occur. <laughs> or, or not, we'll give you a couple minutes to get out of here. Um, the board does do these uh, awards here during, our, during this uh, televised meeting because we do see the, the great importance of the awards, and so we want to thank everyone for coming out for them. And so on behalf of Larimer County, congratulations to the winners.